Hi Capricorn, hey lovebirds. Welcome back, I'm divinely destined. Excuse me, Michael. Welcome back to another video, Capricorn. If you happen to be new here, I wanna say thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate the love and the support of my channel, Capricorn. Please like the video, share the video, leave me some comments in the comment section. I really appreciate it once again, Capricorn. I have a message for us tonight, okay? Take the message how it resonates. And you know what? You know how it goes. The Ace of Pentacles overall energies, Capricorn. Wow, that's the overall energy. Pretty cool energy. You may have been left in an inheritance here. I see the death energy, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, that's some sort of um, inheritance here, okay? Capricorn. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. The Emperor here. Ooh. This Emperor is giving me ancestor vibes. Our Heavenly Father here. Yes. The Eight of Coins. Also ancestor. Ancestor for sure here. So you have a powerful ancestor that's showing himself because I feel he's a masculine energy here. Really strongly here. Okay. Yeah, I believe Aries got this type of energy. They had a feminine ancestor um, looking over their Ace of Pentacles. Capricorn has a masculine ancestor here that is protecting them and their uh, inheritance tonight. Yes, they are. Yes, this is a masculine ancestor here. Make no mistake about it. Mm -hmm. Wow, he sees you worked hard for this. Okay, wow. The Three of Pentacles, you worked hard for this. Yes, Capricorn. Wow, okay, I'm picking up on Aquarius energy. Perhaps you have a, mm, you have a connection with a, uh, Aquarius. I heard, uh, I heard Aquarius and Capricorn can work. Mm. Wow, we got the chariot. Capricorn getting up, going to work, man. They put, they put, <laughs> They put the time in, they put their they, they put their dedication in, and you know what? They deserve their um inheritance, essentially. Okay, what else is going on? Please and thank you, Archangel Michael. Yes, we got the King of Coins. The King of Coins, the Emperor, and the Ace of Coins. Ooh, and the Eight of Coins. Capricorn man, Capricorn masculine, Capricorn feminine. They both are in money manifestation energy the ace of coins the king of coins the ten of coins and the emperor wow this capricorn is extremely abundant here material harvest is is in route okay i'm hearing the name summer summer okay summer wow the ten of pentacles the ace of pentacles and the king of pentacles and the emperor there's an influential or a powerful ancestor that is with you. I'm picking up on a Capricorn male here. This could be a Capricorn woman in her masculine energy. This ancestor is watching you and keeping an eye on you. And we got justice. There's money coming in. But you work for this money. This could be this could be you getting a pay raise. This could be you getting a higher position, starting your own business, relocating for work. Okay. The Justice, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. This is this is Capricorn putting that hard work in into making their dreams a reality here. Capricorn represents the boss of the zodiac. Okay. They represent um, you know, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, all the earth signs. Capricorn is like the mature one. Okay, she's considered like uh like the matriarch of the earth signs let me know if that is resonating with you capricorn okay very mature individuals here yes i'm picking up on a capricorn male for sure here with the emperor energy and the king of coins this could be someone that you're destined to be in a partnership with here capricorn woman this is a powerful influential capricorn here that is being watched by your ancestors here our heavenly father is keeping an eye on you your guardian angels are keeping an eye on you here. You're a leader here. There's something very significant about this particular message. There's also somebody that may not have the best interests 
your best interest at heart that could be watching you could be watching you with the seven of swords you may be getting ready to wash your car tonight today or you have recently or over the over the next few days you will look at this the nine of pentacles the ten of pentacles the ace of pentacles the king of pentacles there's a self-sufficient independent boss watching me right now or you're connected to one make no mistake about it make no mistake about it the seven of wands you're highly protected here highly protected your boss could be looking at you for promotion okay you could be getting a reconsideration uh you could be going through some sort of appeal process for a government payout as well government payout as well back pay is here money's owed to you being paid out to you is here I'm hearing lump sum as well. You could be you could be taking a lump sum. Okay, there's money here. <laughs> the nine of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, the king of pentacles, the ace of pentacles. Oh yeah. With the seven of swords here and the page of swords indicating some deception here too. Somebody could have some not so good intentions here because they see that you are so abundant here. Capricorn. Mm-hmm. Yes. You like going to the beach. The Three of Swords. Somebody that betrayed you. Backstabbed you. Lied on you. Used you. Is watching you. And they, they are being heavily watched by our Heavenly Father. I see Archangel Michael here as well. They don't see Michael here. The King of Wands. The King of Wands could be watching you, Capricorn woman. The King of Wands could be the man that God has for you as well, Capricorn woman. That's your emperor. Wow. The Seven of Cups. Make no mistake about it. There's a King of Wands. He came out in my last reading here. Maybe the Aries reading. This King of Wands is very deceptive here with the Seven of Swords. Make no mistake about it with the Seven of Cups. He's watching you. This could have been someone you were with. Capricorn male, Capricorn woman here. They see you in all this abundant energy, all your glory, okay, all your glory, maybe even all your jewelry, okay, you're shining here, you're in your new life energy, and this person is like a, um, I'm getting like the, the green-eyed monster, you know, they say jealousy is the green-eyed monster here, somebody's in the background watching you with jealousy and envy in their heart. There's another ancestor here, there's that, this could be the same ancestor that I picked up opening up the message here. Yes, um, this ancestor is a masculine energy here. He's protecting you here. The Hierophant and the Seven of Wands is ancestor. With the Emperor, he's a uh, masculine energy that's watching and protecting over you. Make no mistake about it. With the Justice and the Three of Swords, next to the King of Wands, the ancestor is making, making sure you stay safe because there is somebody that you had a connection to at some point here. Or you have some knowledge of. Maybe you don't even maybe you don't even know this person here. They have some connection to somebody you had a connection to. Nonetheless, none nonetheless, this person has some um Yeah, speaking of green eye monster, look at those look at those eyes. Okay. This person has some envy in their heart when it comes to you. Jealousy. Jealousy in the air tonight, I can tell. I cannot understand that, but oh well. You're not with this person with the world card, Capricorn. You're well known and influential here in the world, or you're supposed to be, or the person that God has for you, they are. Yes. The Page of Swords, your ancestors. There, there's two masculine ancestors that are here. You know, there's more, but I see two right here, okay? Wow. I'm hearing the name Janice. The Eight of Swords. There's a deceptive king of wands that's in his um, in his feelings here, or stuck in his head about how he can still be deceptive towards you or she. Okay. Mm. They have some entities attached to them that don't like uh, that's trying to destroy you, Capricorn. Their your your light irritates their demons, literally. Okay, literally. But look at our Heavenly Father. He shows up as the Sun card. Okay, He's protecting you. He's protecting you. He's protecting you. 
There's ancestors protecting you. There's guardian angels protecting you. Our heavenly father is protecting you. Archangel Michael is protecting you as well. The king of coins, the queen of coins is here. I don't see the queen of coins, but I'm picking up on the queen of coins. So there's a divine counterpart here. Capricorn, you and your person are here. Okay. Wow. I see the four of coins. There's literal, okay, so there, this king of wands, they haven't let go of this, uh, this jealousy or envy that they feel towards you. They still have that in their heart currently. You're not with them though, but they back there watching on some level here with the green eyes, the jealousy eyes here. We got the will of fortune. It's about your, it's about your abundance. The will of fortune is here. Dang. You're meant to inherit a large amount of money. There's a huge inheritance here. I'm hearing a windfall. And I'm hearing Aquarius. Okay, this the Seven of Swords is Aquarius energy. There could be Aquarius and a Leo that are working together to bring about, or who has worked together at some point to bring about some sort of harm to you. The Wheel of Fortune indicating your future energies. Let's see what the future energies are like. Or are like for Capricorn. Please and thank you, Archangel Michael. What are the future energies for the zodiac sign of Capricorn tonight? Okay. Mm -hmm. The King of Wands. I, okay, I have the King of Wands, the King of Cups, the King of Coins here. All the kings are here. You have an emperor here. I feel like this emperor, this King of Cups, the King of Coins, the King of Wands, the King of Swords, that represents that ancestor that's watching over you. There's one masculine in particular that is going to war for you quite literally he could be an army veteran or he served in the in the arm in the armed forces he could have been a police officer uh he could he could have been very authoritative in life and if he wasn't he's very authoritative in spirit here he's pretty much letting you know that um he's protecting you period he shows up as all the kings and he's the emperor. All the all four kings represent an emperor. Okay, this ancestor is watching over you. Period. He was, he is, and he always will watch over you. Okay, we got the five of cups. Somebody mad because they can't get back in. Okay, they don't need to come back in. They're 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 not gonna come back in. I see a temperance. Okay, the temperance represents an earth angel. There's a uh there's a <laughs> There is an ancestor that's watching over his earth angel tonight, Capricorn. And always, once again, yes. What don't we see here under the moon, Archangel Michael? Wow. Under the moon. Okay, we got the Ten of Wands here. Yeah, you don't see that that deceptive King of Wands is carrying a, a lot of burdens behind the scenes. Okay, because they've done a lot of things to cause you to be at a disadvantage and they have to pay karma for that okay or you know that's the future energies here they're going to be paying karma for what they've done to you yep they go to tower the ten of wands and then the tower hits yes mm -hmm. they get they could get arrested here okay they're going to take a financial loss that's what the high priestess is saying capricorn mm -hmm. yes so your enemies are being dealt with they have been dealt with in every Zodiac message that I have done tonight, it's like the collective is not really coming out. The energies are showing us collective, our enemies, essentially, the people that have done things that cause harm to us. And the energies are showing us our ancestors pretty strongly tonight. And our Heavenly Father, okay, our spiritual team. Those are the overall energies that I picked up. And I've done like four, four or five Zodiac messages and that's the overall theme here. The collective is in a new life energy. And all the energies are showing us people from the past still holding on. I picked up on this in Gemini reading, Aries reading, now Capricorn reading, okay, Scorpio reading. The ancestors are showing us that we are protected as we step into our new life energy. We are in our new life energy, Capricorn. We are in that door, you know, that personal, that personal healing and happiness door. We have stepped into that door now. We're there. We're in there. That's why the energies are showing us tonight. Um, 
people that have not released us or released their envy or their jealousy towards us, Capricorn. But that's not our problem. Our spiritual team are taking care of it. They are taking care of it. Essentially. They are being dealt with. I can literally end the message right here. Okay? I can literally end the message right here. The nine of coins. All the money is here. There's a very successful individual watching me. And it's not all about money. This could indicate um, your spiritual rank, okay? Spiritual, you're, you're gifted in, in, in the spiritual realm, okay? You have uh, spiritual gifts and abilities that make you extremely abundant. And that's not always money, okay? But that's definitely part of it. Having, having certain spiritual abilities and certain spiritual uh, abilities and talents is considered abundance. We got the page of wands. They're watching the collective move into our new life energy. Capricorn. Yep. Star energy. You may be influential, well-known, or you're meant to be. Okay. Make no mistake about it. You may be a, a content creator. Whatever you do, um, you got people watching you. Okay. Capricorn. You got them watching. The world. You're, you're meant to be influential. Um, influence. Influential here in the world. Hmm. I'm here in the world stage. Public figure. Notoriety. Fame. Your ancestors know this already. Okay, you could be a public figure here. Okay, Capricorn, you could be a public figure here. Let's go ahead and close it out. Trust the process here. Judgment has been called on your enemies. Don't worry. Okay. They could be worried because they fail and they continue to fail. And they're in grief because they kept failing. They were supposed to learn a lesson and leave you alone. That was their purpose, to leave you alone. Okay? They were in denial about who you were or they tried to make you feel like you wasn't who you were. Which gave them even more reason to attack you or to oppose you perhaps, Capricorn. They lacked the empathy. Okay? Yes. You're, you're confident here with self-esteem. Your, your confidence is high. They wanted to bring some sort of adversity to you to get you to lower your self-esteem or to feel low in, in esteem, okay? There's that envy. Somebody seriously was jealous and envious of you in the highest order here. And it caused this person to do things behind the scenes to self-sabotage and destroy themselves, okay? Somebody wanted your divinity here. They wanted your destiny. They wanted your purpose. They wanted your path. And I don't know why they thought that they could actually take it. I don't know what kind of drugs they be smoking, what kind of what kind of alcohol they be drinking, and what kind of magic do they think. I don't know. I be asking myself that question, Capricorn. Okay, look. Success. Somebody is triggered and envious of your success. Forgive your enemies. Okay? Forgive them. Some of these people were supposed to learn from you. Just sit back and learn and be quiet. Okay? Shut up and stay out of the way. That's what Takeoff said in the song. God rest his soul. Shut up and stay out of the way. Okay? If you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Yes. Leave people alone. Mind your business. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yes. I see gratitude here. Yes, you are appreciated. I'm picking up on Tupac energy. Yes. Growth. Growth, growth. I see a 13-year-old. You could have a 13-year-old daughter. Okay, you could have, you know, the last 13 years of your life could have been very significant here. Okay, you could have a 13-year-old 13 13-year-old 13 daughter or a son with this person here. Okay, they blaming you for their failures and their lack of growth. Okay. You did this to me. You did that to me. You did this. I couldn't grow. Bullshit. Okay. <laughs> I see service here and pride. Somebody is really grateful to God that you're on your post. As one of my favorite tarot readers says, that you're on your mission here because you're helping somebody here. You're helping a lot of people here. Okay. And our Heavenly Father knows that. That's why he's not going to let nobody destroy you. Okay. You actually answered the call here. Mm -hmm. Are you perfect? Nope. But you're perfectly imperfect and in perfect position and you answered the call. And good thing you did, Capricorn, because 
Man, I'm hearing you're in. I'm in the money. I'm hearing I'm in the money here. I'm picking up on Jerry Maguire. I believe that's a movie that Terry, Tom Cruise. I'm hearing Terry Cruise. He could be your favorite actor. Tom Cruise played in a movie called Show Me the Money. I see that here. Show Me the Money. All the money is here, Capricorn. You could literally win a lottery or a long, a large lump sum of cash. Somebody could definitely leave you a fortune in their will too, or that's already happened. And you know that kind of made you a target here. Possibly from some jealous family members, envious friends. You may have some hidden enemies, okay? Or you've, you've discovered some. Okay, Capricorn, I'm going to go ahead and close this particular message out here. Let's go ahead and close it out. I'm going to take some final messages here. Thank you, Archangel Michael. <laughs> Let's get some closing messages here. Endings are inevitable, okay? Endings are inevitable, we are in our new life energy. Okay? I'm picking up on Aries energy here. Yes, taking that leap of faith. The collective has done that. Okay, we are in our new life energy. We understand that endings are inevitable. We know that. Okay? Oh, something lovely will grow from this. Look how beautiful you are. Look at the energy that radiates from this individual here. That's you, Capricorn. You're radiant. You're beautiful. You're handsome here. They could have done a lot of beauty magic on you. A lot of spells here to affect your self-esteem. But something beautiful will grow out of this. You are that beautiful something that grew out of something that was horrible, perhaps. They didn't, they didn't expect you to survive some of the attacks they launched at you. I'm picking up on that song by Beyonce, Dangerously in Love. She says, with you, by, with you and God by my side, I bloom and grow so beautifully. That's that energy here. I'm so proud, proud to be your girl here. You make the confusion go away from this cold and empty world or something like this. Congratulations, Capricorn. They said you wouldn't make it, okay? I don't, the person that said that, let me know what they add in the, in the comment section today. Okay, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this particular message. If you wanna go further, please book me. God bless.